As we head into the last month of summer and start thinking about back to school, many of us struggle with achieving balance in our lives. Joining me today is life coach Darcy Loma to explain why no is not a four-letter word. What do you mean by that? Well, a lot of people, when they're looking to find balance and, and fulfillment in their lives, find that their lives are stressful and overwhelming and that they can't say no. They yeah. feel guilty or fear disappointing someone. So you have a great list for us. Yeah. How do we achieve balance? Where do we start? You start by defining what's important to you and really consciously choosing what is it that you want to say yes to. If you know what your priorities are and what's most important to you, it's easier to say no to those things that you don't want. Then you say set boundaries, which yeah. is not easy. <laughs> Setting boundaries can be so challenging and that's what's so essential is once you're in clear about what's important to you, then starting to define your calendar and your week and your activities with those things in mind and setting boundaries and saying no to the things that don't fit in that. And that's a perfect segue into the third bullet point, which you say is having courage to say no. It really does take courage. And it, it, it's a, sometimes a difficult place to be able to say no to someone that you care about or a project that means a lot to you. But what happens is if you're saying yes to everything, it results in feeling overwhelmed. It results in feeling out of balance. And so it's absolutely essential that you say no. Say no to, as you pointed out, to emphasize some things that can be important to absolutely. you. It's not just the things that you know you can and just struggle with. Okay, you say put the oxygen mask on yourself first. Right, as the airlines always say, you can't help someone else be happy if you're not happy yourself. Yeah. And so it's absolutely essential that you take care of yourself and that you make time in your schedule for those things that are most important as you're saying no to the things that aren't important, really honoring those things that make you find joy and that bring you the greatest fulfillment. And then you're able to enjoy the balance that you've created. Absolutely, and celebrate your full permission to do what you love. I want to let people know that there is a new UW program on yes. life coaching. This is first in the Midwest. Tell me about this. Yeah, we're really excited. It's starting this fall and it's really designed for working professionals who either want to become a life coach or for those who are wanting to integrate those skills to be more effective in their role as a parent, as a manager, as a leader, as an employee. And so are you leading the class? Yes. The program. So and you've been a life coach for how many years? Yes, I've been a life coach for more than a decade and uh, absolutely love because one of the things I find with my clients is they have a hard time achieving balance yeah. and finding ful fulfillment is what a lot of clients come to and finding that balance is a key way to find fulfillment. Awesome, well we wish you the best with the program. If you would like to learn more about Darcy and the power of having a life coach, check out the August issue of Brava Magazine. It will be in the mail I think next week. We're also gonna post resources including information on that new UW life Life coaching program on our news links page at NBC15.com. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. And we'll be right back after the break.